welcome back to today's lesson where we're going to be talking about a system for getting recommendations from people who have never even worked with you before. So it's going to be very powerful. Now in the previous lesson, we talked about getting recommendations from your clients and that's obviously, you know, the, the lowest hanging fruit. You want to go through those first. But after we've run out of clients and you know, you're still building your clients over time, if you really want to ramp up your recommendations, here are a few strategies that you can do that. And these strategies will also help you get more clients from the people that you're trying to get recommendations from because you're engaging them, you're providing value, and well, you'll see. So let's, let's get right into the lesson and you'll see how you can turn these people on LinkedIn who've never worked with you into giving you recommendations and also becoming your clients. Now here is a message template that you can use that works really well to get people who have never you know, worked with you yet to give you a recommendation. So here's how the strategy goes. The first message that you're going to send is to people in your connections in a, in a particular niche, right, that, you, um, that, that you're targeting. So you say, hey, I hope everything's going great on your side. I was going through my connections and noticed that I have many accountants or whatever niche they're in. I'm just giving accounting as an example. Um, we're here on LinkedIn to grow our business and help each other out. So I pulled some very practical information on how accountants can make the most out of LinkedIn. It's free information, nothing to sell. I implemented the tips on the article and this was my result. Or you can also change that out in there and say, I implemented this for my clients and this is the result that they received. Because remember, people are going to hire you for whatever result it is that you provide. Um, I hope you find this helpful. The link to their article, it could be you know, some, an article somebody else wrote or an article that you wrote, preferably something that you wrote, but if you, you, know, if you don't have time or you find something interesting and you just want to use that, that's fine too. Um, have a great rest of your week and please let me know if you found this useful. I look forward to hearing from you regards your name. So the way that you're going to do this is let's go into LinkedIn and we're going to go to our connections and you've, you should have already had your connections tagged. So we're just going to go to our tags and let's say, um, I'm just going to say SEO prospect, for example, and I'm going to pull up that message real quick. Okay. And then what I want to do is I just want to select all. Make sure I've got everybody selected. You can scroll all the way down and then we're going to message these people. Now they're all in there. We're just going to copy and paste our message. We're going to make it look a little bit nicer than that. Okay, perfect. And then up here you can say something like, thought you might like this, or um, the, 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 the subject of your particular piece of content. And then you're going to make sure that you click this so they can't see that it's a mass message. You want to make it look like, you know, it's going just directly to them. And then you're going to hit send. I'm not going to send this because I, there's nothing in there. So that's it. So now what happens is, um, is those people that reply to that message, and, and depending on what they said back to you will depend on how you'll respond. But what you want to do is you want to let them know that hey, since you found this, since, since you found this useful or helpful, or you know, depending on what, what they said to you, ideally you want somebody that um, gave you a positive response, and then you're going to use that and say, hey, because you enjoyed this article, or you found this useful, or you think this might help you out, I'd love to. Uh, you want to say, I, I'm trying to grow my recommendations here on LinkedIn, and I'd love to give you a free, you know, 15 minute consultation and I'll help you implement some of these strategies from this article. Nothing to sell, nothing to buy. I just want to help you out. I'm just really looking to grow my recommendations. People will appreciate that. And so now you've done a couple of things. You've set the expectation that you're not asking for anything. You're just trying to help. The one thing that you're asking for is a little small, just, just a recommendation on LinkedIn, but you're willing to work for it. You're just not asking for a free lunch. And now that, now that you get to do a strategy session with this prospect, they might potentially want to hire you depending on where they're at in their, in their process. And if they, if they don't hire you now, you have top of mind campaigns going out. So they're going to continuously be getting value from you so that when they are ready to hire somebody for what you do, they're going to be thinking of you. You're the one that provided value. You're the one that hasn't asked for much in return except for you know, a small recommendation. 
and people are really going to appreciate the help that you're giving them. A lot of times, and if you do this right, uh, the people that you do these strategy sessions with will become clients. Will everybody become a client? Well, no, but a lot of them will, and that's the whole point. We're getting recommendations and we're turning these people that would have otherwise been sitting there collecting dust in your connections into actual prospects. You're getting them on the phone and you're getting business. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now let's take a look at what you should be doing next. So now you want to be asking people who have responded to your top of mind campaigns for recommendations. And in the previous video, we talked about exactly how to request recommendations from people. And this is only, of course, people that have responded positively. You've offered the strategy session and you've let them know that, you know, all you want for in exchange for the strategy session is that recommendation on LinkedIn. And people will be more than happy to do that if you're helping them out. Uh, next, you want to provide value and ask recommendations whenever appropriate in any networking situation that you're in on LinkedIn, uh, no matter you know where, where in the process that prospect is. If you feel like it's the right time to ask for this, then by all means use the strategy because it's, it's a two, two-fold approach. You're getting a recommendation and you're getting a strategy session with somebody to help convert them into a client. Now you want to do this over time. You want to get in the habit of doing this continuously because that's going to help you increase your recommendations over time and you want to track your recommendation requests you know you don't want to be too annoying with nudging people reminding them to recommend you but you know if, if it's been sitting there for a week it's cool to remind them and, if, and another week passes it's cool to remind them again and perhaps you know if you've done it twice now through LinkedIn you want to try try it a different way like via email or text or if you're connected with them on another social media platform ask there and if and if they they never do it and this isn't a client of yours, then, you know, over time, yes, drop it. Don't just keep nudging them and reminding them. Um, but typically, people will give you the rec recommendation as long as you really did, you know, provide value during your strategy session. And one last thing I want to also mention to you is you, you don't just have to do a strategy session. Let's say you have a software. You can offer a free trial of the software in exchange for a recommendation. Or uh, you can offer to do some small job for someone in exchange for that recommendation. I actually had someone do that to me, and that's how I learned of the strategy a few years ago. Uh, somebody on LinkedIn reached out to me and said, hey, your, your website is not mobile optimized. I'd be happy to mobile optimize your website for free in exchange for you vouching for my work here on LinkedIn and recommending me. And I said, well, of course. And I think he had like a templated um, app that he was using and it didn't really take him very long to mobilize my site and so for that small amount of work I gave him the recommendation he's happy now he can use that to go out and close clients when he's out there uh, trying to get business so you can do that as well now what you want to do is take action on this lesson go earn your badge and on the next lesson we're going to be talking about how to turn profile views and endorsements into recommendations on your profile so I'll see you in the next lesson bye bye